I am not the ultimate fisherman. But I'm getting there. There we go. First fish of the day. Little one. On the spoon. So that's the first fish on a spoon, actually. I've come back out to Walter Bolden Dam because last time I came out, I managed to catch one skipjack all day. But I'm pretty sure conditions are right now. They should be on their full-blown run. So we come back out to stock up on catfish bait. Up, oh, up! Oh, if I don't lose him, get in the cooler. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's gonna get up into the 70s, high 70s today. Water temps are still a little cool, but we've been on a big warming trend for this past week. We just had no rain. It's just been full blast sun. Nice, nice day after day. And so the skipjack are definitely up in here now. And it seems like they're definitely pulled up closer to the shore than they were last time. Last time, all my bites came way out in the middle. Today, they all seem to be pretty close to the riprap line. Man, they thumping it, too. Oh, and there he went. <sighs> one of the day yep for sure Whew. And in case you didn't watch the previous skipjacking video it's a seven foot medium heavy rod with a 4500 spinning reel 15 pound braided main line a double uni knot to a 25 pound monofilament leader and then I have three 1 8 ounce ball jig heads that I've tipped with uh, white curly tail grubs. And then at the very end, I have a half ounce gold spoon. This, it, it did manage to catch a fish so far, but most of the time, this is just an extra little flashy thing to attract them. They tend to hit the jigs more than they're gonna hit the spoon, but it adds a little bit more flash and it also adds more weight. And so it allows me to cast further as well as get it deeper in the water column in this flowing water. And that's it, chuck and wine. Straight retrieve all the way back, varying the speed. I'm also giving it like a two to three count, letting it sink a little bit because it doesn't seem like they're feeding up on the surface. They're hanging down just a smidge underneath the water. It's definitely not the thickest run I've ever seen them do, but I think I'm up to six right now. And my grandfather actually showed up a little bit after I did and he's down there and I know he's caught at least four or five at this point. Once they get in this backflowing current, they become quite difficult. Good lord. Oh. Fish gonna make me tired. He was way out there too. Alright, they start to turn on now. Come on, fish. Get up here. Yep, he hit the spoon. A little bit of flash and variety. Whew. 
<laughs> Fish making me sweat a little bit. for a second <laughs> oh I think he came off in that little bit of time I gave him nope he's on there he just gave up good accept your fate calm down calm down get in the cooler Well, he doesn't count as a species because I snagged him in the eye, but there you go. <laughs> Our first shad of the channel. As a, he doesn't count towards the species list because you got to hook him in the mouth, or that's my rule at least. Water break. Back to this. right back on them this is such fun skipjack fishing is just so much darn fun all right calm down accept your fate what the a good solid hit stay down stay down stay down he did not stay down another one on the spoon they're actually hitting the spoon a lot today that doesn't happen much when I fish for these I said the spoon usually for me just serves as a weight a little extra Flash attractant to bring them in. They're liking the spoon though. Fine with me. That's why I tie so many things on here. They can have whatever they want. Here we go. Two at once. Oh, lost one. Oh, that's so sad. Well, lost one <laughs> on the shore flip. Ah, <sighs> uh, finally. You're probably gonna be the last one of the day, good boy. Ooh. Whew. Oh, I'm tired. Conditions have definitely improved. The skipjack are most certainly here and in great numbers. I done lost track of how many I caught. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was double digits. WG, wonderful granddad, he was down there. I'm pretty sure he's loaded up with bucket full. I'll go down in a minute and find out how many he actually pulled in. I actually had a catfish rod set up off to the side with one of the first skipjack that I caught. Cut his head off, threw it out there on bottom. And all I did was get snagged every single time. Broke off a couple rigs, so I just gave up and put that away. But we are stocked up on bait now. So the next step is to turn all these skipjack into trophy-sized catfish. But until then, y'all have a good one. <laughs>